how would you describe yourself? Um, I think right now, you know, in terms of like what I'm doing, because I think over the past 10 years, I've, I've been involved with a lot of things. Yeah. You know, I left, I left for, for job when I was young, I was like 19, 20. Um, I was, you know, my mind at that time was just like, I just need to go to job. I want to do music. Right. You know what I'm saying? So even how I ended up like in management, yeah. um, and then digital distribution and then from digital distribution went into marketing and then from marketing now started learning more about the record business and then you know um what i'm pretty much doing now is i'm focusing on on breaking independent artists onto the mainstream so through management and marketing so i currently am running two companies um one which is blah ent and blah ent is basically you know a platform that i created um, to plug artist music on on radio, on TV, you know, because we, we, we have a lot of talent, but we don't have the finances to, to push us on these platforms. And I realized that, you know what, um, we also want to be on TV, we also want to yeah. be on radio, yeah. but we don't have... we don't have the resources to get us there, so what's the best way of doing that? Yeah. You know, and it was really birthed from from a need that I had, you know, I was managing an artist at that time called Radio Film, and uh, we shot a video, man, we we spent money, like, I remember this yeah. first video we shot, it was like 30,000 Rand, oh, wow. this was like, you know, six, seven years ago, and we were just kids, man, we didn't have money, we asked our parents for money, we went to the church for money we you know we, we try to hustle for money from wherever we could yeah um and then the, the the dad is the one who ended up like giving us this money and now we had shot this video right. uh with this i don't know if you know his name Carl white yeah we we're yeah, like I one of his first that. clients yeah we we're like one of his first clients um and now we'd shot this video and he gives us back this video in like two days and right. we're like okay how do we not get it on tv yeah you know, and yeah. that was that was like the major challenge because we didn't yeah. know anyone at MTV, we didn't know anyone at Trace, right. we didn't know anyone at Channel O. And back then, YouTube wasn't a thing. And YouTube wasn't a thing back then, but already I, I kind of like it figured out that we we're gonna go digital. But right. it was like it's a female rapper, we're in South Africa. Yeah. You know, already just having a female rapper trying to break into the mainstream was difficult. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we. We ended up just telling ourselves like we need to get this thing right. on TV. Like we have to find a way. Went to MTV offices, and we literally were like knocking on their doors. Like guys, we've got a video. Guys, we've got a video. Guys, we've got a video. We also met some guys who do plug, you know, the same similar service, but their charges were just like ridiculous. Like ten thousand rand a month for like PR and. <laughs> you know and distribution yeah. or like we don't have that much we've just spent the past couple of months trying to find this money for this video you know yeah and then went to went to channel O. channel it was the same thing you know went to trace us before trace africa uh -huh. had started right yeah yeah, yeah it was just like trace it's, urban so it's yeah. like you're competing with guys in the states you're competing with guys in london like and and at that time states um trace was their head office was in france okay it's a french company yeah and their office in Joba was fairly new. Right. You know, they had they had people who were there on the ground. Yeah. So Trace are the ones who ended up giving us a chance. And they're like, you know what? Your music is dope. Yeah. Um, we'll play your video. They right. played our video, man. We went online. We made noise about it. <laughs> yeah. You know, Instagram wasn't a thing yet. Uh, but we went on Facebook. We went on Twitter. Like, we literally were like, we're going to promote this thing yeah. as much as possible. And then Channel O accepted the video, like six weeks later. Right. And then like another three months later, MTV Bass started playing the video. You know, so a lot of other independent artists started coming to me like, yo, how did you manage to do that? How did you manage to, how did you manage to do that? Cool. And then I was like, guys, the work it's taken me to get to this point. Yeah. I'm basically going to charge, right. but I'm not going to charge how these other guys are starting. So that's how I... Cool. That's how I got into, you know, plugging and stuff. And then with marketing, it was basically over time. Mm. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing now. But I'm now focusing more on on Africa. In Africa. Yeah. Okay. Africa. So you pretty much got there through your own experience, and then other yeah. guys just. So you didn't actually have a plan to get into. Management? It wasn't. It was. It wasn't really my plan. Yeah. Um, if it, what I actually wanted to do is, I just wanted to work for a record label. 
okay and produce music you know like that's 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 yeah. all i wanted to do order to either be in the studio making music or right. i'm at the record label looking like i'm doing something exciting <laughs> <laughs> so the plan wasn't really like there 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 yeah. but it's like a lot of people that i've worked with kind of like right. have, have, have pushed me to to go into into that direction so yeah that's that's how i got here today